All right, good morning. Wow, that was easy. Good morning. Well, thank you for attending Classroom Central's annual Color a Brighter Future event. We're glad you're here, really. This is presented by Harris Teeter, and I'm Bill Meeker, and I'm a senior consultant and executive coach for the Center for Intentional Leadership, and I'm also chairman of the board for Classroom Central. We are thrilled to welcome you back and see you in person for this amazing event. It's been four years, so we're, we're glad you're back. Really, we're glad you're back. So thank you. Um, for those of you who want to post and tweet about your experience this morning, please use the hashtag pencils into possibilities. And please tag Classroom Central via Twitter or Facebook, Instagram or LinkedIn as you can see up on the screen at any time during the program. Please be sure to reshare uh, the posts. So before we get started, I'd like to thank our table captains and my fellow Classroom Central board members. You can just kind of raise your hands. And Harris Teeter, who's been our supporting sponsor today. And frankly, all of our very wonderful sponsors, thank you to our sponsors today. And thank you for making this event happen. We would also like to thank CMS Interim Superintendent Crystal Hill and all the elected officials attending this morning from Charlotte Mecklenburg School Board, Mecklenburg County Commissioners, and the Charlotte City Council. We ask them to please stand and be recognized as we give them a round of applause for their service to our community. And now, without further ado, I'd like to introduce our student performers from University Park Creative Arts School. Just a young gun with a quick fuse. I was uptight, trying to let loose. I was dreaming of bigger things and want to leave my old life behind. Not a yes sir, not a follower. Fit the mold, take the mold. I was seen in the foyer. Take a number. I was lightning before the thunder.
If you can't see, she's saying, you are all fantastic. I love you. Awesome. All right, so we're going to take a short break. Uh, be before we resume the program, we would invite you to get to know your table mates. And what is it about Classroom Central that inspires you? So maybe have a conversation getting to know each other, and what it is it about the mission for Classroom Central that really inspires you? And then we'll resume the program. Okay, enjoy your breakfast.
All right, everybody. I really, really hate interrupting the purposeful conversation that's going on right now, but I know you have places to be today. So we're gonna continue on with the program. Thanks for giving me your attention. Um, you know, once again, I'm Bill Meeker, and I've been involved with Classroom Central for, it's about eight and a half, nine years now. Um, and for an organization that's been around for 20 years, it's been a big part of my life, actually. So um, one of the reasons, there's a number of reasons I give my time and my talents to this organization, and a big part of it, it's about giving back to the community. My two children, Billy and Sierra, um, graduated from CMS schools. Billy, my son, actually is here today. You can wave to everybody. And he is now 24 years old and recently engaged, by the way, too. So, um, But I know that uh, my contributions are going to help other students uh, in need, and I can help them succeed by supporting their teachers. One of the other reasons that I give my time and talents to this organization is it's about supporting education. And education is the most powerful tool that we have to build the future of our communities and the success of our society. Classroom Central provides the essential resources that help teachers educate their students in a way that help kids achieve their goals. Their success will be our success. And then finally, for me, it's about valuing the teaching profession. At Classroom Central, we see teachers. We see teachers and the essential role that they play. By supporting this organization, we're giving the profession the respect and the dignity it deserves. So now I am honored to introduce the executive director and our chief inspiration officer for Classroom Central, Karen Calder. Good morning. I'm just excited that I didn't trip up the stairs, so that's always a good thing, right? Um, thank you all so much for being here today. From my first day on the job back in 2002 to standing here with you today, I am so grateful to serve as the executive director and to lead this amazing organization that colors so many brighter futures for so many deserving students. Classroom Central believes, as do I, in the potential of every child. We believe the educational playing field should be level and that every student should have the tools they need to be confident, to learn, and to succeed. And that every teacher should be focused on teaching rather than worried about having to buy school supplies. But that's not always the case in our community. We started this academic year serving 127,000 students. That many kids will fill this arena nearly 15 times. The children we serve come from families that earn less than $31,000 per year. Some are struggling to find an affordable place to call home, while others, about 3,000 in fact, in CMS alone, are homeless. With these challenges and so many more, you can begin to see where school supplies are just out of reach. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, how important are school supplies? Something so basic. Well, the answer is very. They're very important. Each notebook brings months of note-taking on its empty pages. Each box of markers unlocks creativity and has students realizing and visualizing learning in new and exciting ways. Each pencil removes obstacles and puts power into the hands of a child. Fully equipped classrooms provide welcoming environments where kids develop a strong attachment to school, which not only boosts attendance, but engagement and learning. Without the proper supplies, students cannot effectively learn, which will impact all of their future opportunities. Think about it. If a child fails in school, they won't be prepared for the workforce, and especially not for the careers that will move them beyond the free and reduced lunch line. I'm proud to announce that with people just like you, Classroom Central has provided more than $85 million in free supplies to, you can clap if you want. <laughs> So 
So I'll say that again. We've provided more than $85 million in free resources to thousands of students in more than 200 schools in six districts since we opened 20 years ago. We've done this through programs such as our free store, our mobile unit, and most recently through an online ordering system complete with curbside pickup, as well as through initiatives like Backpacks and Basics, which last year alone equipped 35,000 students with backpacks filled with supplies to start their academic year off ready and prepared to learn. However, the most important resource any student can ever have is a great teacher. If you know a teacher, you know how stressful their jobs can be. A recent survey indicates that teachers feel the most burnout of any other profession. They're up against seemingly impossible odds caring for students who may be new to the country and not yet speak the language, or those dealing with severe trauma such as domestic violence or foster care. Yet teachers are expected to get all children across the same academic finish line even when they don't start from the same starting gate. We're asking a nearly impossible task from our teachers and all on an annual starting salary that hovers around $40,000 a year, of which they spend the equivalent of one to two paychecks annually to equip students and to buy basic supplies. So no wonder they're leaving their jobs at alarming rates, and when they do, who pays the price? Certainly our students, but ultimately all of us. The annual turnover rate for teachers in high poverty schools is 30%. How challenging would it be for you to manage your business if a third of your employees left every year? And what's even more alarming is the teacher pipeline. In 1975, 22% of college students planned to enter into the teaching profession. In 2015, it was 10%. Today, it's 4.6. Where will we be as a society without the influence of good teachers? Classroom Central serves as a recruitment tool for our area school districts, allowing them a competitive advantage when they're recruiting the best and the brightest teaching talent. And our work doesn't end there. We're launching a retention pilot program in the fall designed to partner with CMS as well as its principals to recognize and reward talented teachers for their important work. We're super excited about this new initiative, but we were thrown a bit of a curveball earlier this year that could hinder our progress. We update school eligibility every year based on free and reduced lunch data. Normally, there are a handful of schools that become newly eligible, but this year, 34 schools became newly eligible to utilize our programs, meaning 38,000 additional children, on top of the 127,000 that I spoke of earlier, are now counting on us for support. It's the single largest increase in our 20-year history. To ensure that we can continue to support these additional students without diluting the impact on those that we already serve and launch our teacher retention pilot, we need your help. Now, we take the stewardship of your investment very, very seriously. Every dollar that's invested into our core programs yields $9 worth of supplies that end up back into area classrooms. We're able to achieve such an incredible return on investment due to the efficiency in which we operate. And I'm proud to report that Classroom Central has achieved platinum status through GuideStar, as well as a four-star rating by Charity Navigator. Now folks, if you're not familiar with this, these are the highest ratings possible for any nonprofit, not just in Charlotte, not just in North Carolina or the US, but globally to achieve. Our staff of 10 manages the day-to-day -day processes, which this year alone will result in almost $9 million in free supplies for our students. It's an incredible increase over what we did last year. Last year, we ended the year at 6.8, so it's amazing what's happened this year. To meet the needs of additional students, we need to invest in technology to further improve our processes and efficiencies, we need to expand our staffing and to increase the purchase of basic supplies like paper and pencils that oftentimes just don't get donated in ample enough quantities. 
Your gifts to Classroom Central will ensure that kids have what they need to learn while helping teachers who work tirelessly on the front lines every single day, stepping into that opportunity gap and pulling their students across. But teachers cannot do it alone. They need our help. By providing free supplies, we lift financial burdens from the shoulders of our educators, lightening their load so that they can focus on what matters most, their students. The pencils and notebooks that you provide through Classroom Central show kids that they're important, that someone sees them and cares enough to lend a helping hand. As they open a fresh notebook, they can fill its pages with their hopes and dreams. In holding a new pencil, they can rewrite their futures. Pencils do indeed turn into possibilities for them, as well as for all of us. My hope is that you'll share in our vision and positively shape the lives of kids across our city. And for a closer look at just the difference that you can make, I invite you to enjoy our video that will show up on the Jumbotron. Thank you. It's, it's a crazy, a crazy time to be a teacher. It's beautiful chaos is what I would say. It's a lot of fun when you're in it and you see it every day, but nothing ever goes to plan. So as long as it, you're open to adapting everything, um, it's absolutely worth doing. Being a teacher right now, for me, is pretty amazing. I teach children with special needs, all needs. I've been a teacher for 18 years. Because at the end of the day, I'm not here for me. I'm really here for all of the students. I do not think people understand all that we do. I really think people think we babysit. Teachers are just responsible for a lot. They're responsible for the instructional needs of all students and meeting those wherever the child comes in. They're also responsible for meeting all of the social, emotional needs of the children. The kids face a lot of challenges that we don't see, whether it's um, facing hunger, facing homelessness, a lot of things that you might not even know is going on um, in their home life. It's a lot of challenges. Being a beginning teacher is super hard. On a scale of one to 10, it's probably an 11 right now. So many of our beginning teachers, more than half of our beginning teacher population in CMS are coming in on alternative pathways, meaning they are entering the profession through a non-traditional pathway. They haven't gone to an education prep program and many of them haven't student taught. So they're already a little bit behind. So our field is not one that's super attractive right now for a variety of reasons. One is because of course of the salary and one is just because of learning loss related to the pandemic. It's not um, an easy time to be a teacher. It's always hard, but it's a lot harder right now than it was three, four years ago. So this year we have 27 students um, in the classroom. Last year it was 16 that we had, um, some other the classes had 18, but this year first grade um, went from being three teachers to two teachers from staffing. In first grade, you're supposed to know your letters, your sounds, numbers, one to 100. Um, but what we see in the real world like of our classroom is about half of our class comes in to us and they haven't mastered their letters and their sounds yet. And they don't know numbers one to 10. I have one student that I have worked with for four years. When she came to me, she was completely nonverbal. I made picture cards for her. And it would be simple words like play, Run. Mm, more. Help. Please. Thank you. Simple words, one word phrases that she could use and she was able to use them with hand signs. Time went on, time went on. Top of mid second grade, she started saying hi. I was like, oh, we're getting somewhere. So it went from hi to mom to dad um, to bye, um, thank you, no, yes, simple words like that. That's how it started and it's been going ever since. Oh my God, I just, I feel so, it makes me so happy. Like I'm just so happy because I'm like, oh my God, it really just makes my heart feel really good 
not that I feel that just because um, she has an ability, but it's just a thing of I made a difference in her life. I think teaching is the most noble of all professions, but I also think it is hard. I don't know any other profession where the professional is required to buy materials for their clientele. Um, I don't think doctors buy their own band-aids. I don't think cooks buy their food that they prepare. I think teaching is the only profession and it's one that no other profession would be possible without. Um, almost all of our supplies come from Classroom Central or donations for the most part. And that's because once you come into your classroom and once you become a teacher, you don't get those things. I get all my school supplies from Classroom Central. Classroom Central is everything to teachers. They make sure that no teacher has to sacrifice their paycheck um, in order to meet the basic needs of their students. Well, there's always so much more that goes into being a teacher. Um, and at the foundation, I would say love. The smallest thing you do can make the biggest difference in a kid's life, depending upon what they're dealing with outside of what you know. And so it's just those little moments that make everything worth it. That really is. It sounds so corny, but it really is. I want to be her person when she gets older and she could say, my teacher, Miss Brown, taught me how to tie my shoe. My teacher, Miss Brown, even helped me learn how to speak. So it goes beyond just, just being a teacher, it goes beyond that. I too have a Miss Brown. She was my fourth grade teacher, Mrs. Calcaterra. And I had just moved from Michigan to California when I eagerly raised my hand to answer a question during a science lesson, my worst subject. A classmate made fun of how I pronounced my short vowel sounds. It took a long time to retrain my speech from Michigan to California. And Mrs. Calcaterra told the class that I spoke just perfectly. And at that very moment, I decided that I liked her. My name is Renee Goles, and I am honored to share my story as a lifelong educator with you today. Currently, I have the privilege of serving as the Director of Beginning Teacher Development and Support for Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools. And my journey includes serving the district as a teacher, literacy facilitator, and assistant principal. My teacher, Mrs. Calcaterra, sparked a passion in me to teach when I was in just fourth grade. Although I was just a fresh-faced little girl, I remember her and the magical world she created like it was yesterday. I was the nerd who stayed in at recess and helped her grade papers, which meant the opportunity to use all of her Crayola magic markers. And she would read to us from James and the Giant Peach every day after lunch, and she gently told me that maybe playing the recorder wasn't easy for a girl with braces. Any of you have kids playing the recorder right now? It's not easy for anyone. Her lessons were like magic that transported me to a different time and place, and I can still tell you every single detail of the California Gold Rush because of how she taught. And oh, how I wanted to please her. I wrote extra book reports just for her treasure box treats, and she hooked me on school. And I decided to become a teacher because of her relationship with me. And she remains my favorite teacher even long after her passing. After high school graduation, I pursued my degree at the Florida State University in elementary education. And my journey as an educator began at Chokachati Elementary School in Brooksville, Florida. The night before the first day of school, and like any other year to follow, I didn't sleep well. I still don't sleep well, just P.S. And my mind raced with anticipation and excitement. And I laid out my outfit in true 90s style. That's me, short haircut and all. The following day, I arrived at school early and optimistic and so hopeful. And although this story sounds like it ends with a happily ever after, it does not. 
My first year teaching was the hardest yet most satisfying thing I had ever done in my life at 22 years old. And I was frustrated and a bit embarrassed that I made a whopping $21,000 as I watched my closest friends enter into careers where they made at least double my salary. While the salary differential burned because I felt like I was doing life-saving work like them, I had to dismiss those feelings because I went into a field knowingly that was always grossly underpaid, even if it was and still remains the profession that makes all others possible. As I share with the new teachers that I mentor today, the students in your first class are very special. I remember the names of each of these 24 students and enjoy seeing them as 30-something-year-olds on social media. I remember sweet seven-year-old Joseph, whose dad was murdered in a carjacking just up the street from our school the week before he started second grade. We processed his emotions while coloring together when the other students went to the playground. Using one of those boxes of 120 crayons, you know, the one with the sharpener on the back, they're a big deal. He would get angry and he would snap those crayons in half and we'd find another box and we'd scribble on the pages together just to get all the feelings out. And we must have gone through at least five of those boxes of crayons that year. Yes, teachers do more than just teach ABCs. My experience, however, is not unique. Like all teachers, I have many stories and some are very uplifting and others are very challenging. Like the time late one night, I got a phone call from my principal to tell me that my student Maya had passed away in a car accident and that grief counselors would be in my classroom to help my students the next morning. And words cannot describe how difficult it is to see an empty desk or to attend the funeral of a six-year-old girl. Another student, Ryan, beat leukemia twice. The class made cards for each of these precious children and their families through funerals and hospital stays, and my first grade students eagerly spread a little sunshine when we were under such dark clouds, learning how to read, but also learning how to process really big emotions. And these little acts of kindness taught essential life skills far beyond what I could ever support through any curriculum. Real life lessons come from times such as these. I learned that teachers navigate the happenings in the world in the neighborhood we call our classroom. On September 11, 2001, the office kept calling my classroom for early dismissal. I was in Florida and the president was in Sarasota that morning. And Katrina Churches said out loud, Ms. Goals, a lot of students must have dentist appointments today. And oh my goodness, how I wished that that had been true. On September 12th, our second grade class wrote letters and we sent them to firefighters in the Bronx. The battalion chief of one of the stations wrote us back and he traveled to meet us and he later returned to school to become a teacher. He told my students that they saved his life through their writing assignment when they were only eight years old. My little learners were changing the world for the better and saving lives and maybe even saving the teaching profession by drawing such positive attention to it. I am proud to be an educator and cherish the many moments that validate that our work changes the world one student at a time. However, sometimes I questioned if I could afford the financial burden on my career. I moved to Charlotte in 2008 and started teaching first grade at Sterling Elementary. Go Tigers! I went to the Target, my very favorite place to shop, on South Boulevard to load up on all the basics, and I spent a little over $300. I brought the receipt to my school's financial secretary to beg for reimbursement. She told me that I no longer needed to shop with my own money on all of these things because I had joined a classroom supported by Classroom Central. She taught me how to make an appointment to shop at the free store, and I must admit I was a little bit skeptical, but my first experience there brought me pure joy. 
I cruised that shopping cart around like a boss, and I almost felt like I was stealing because I picked up over $500 of free supplies in one visit without spending a dime. A volunteer checked me out, and they told me that I could come back next month. And then more volunteers loaded the supplies into the trunk of my car. I touched nothing. And I thought to myself, well, is this really happening here? And as I drove out of the parking lot, I have to admit that I cried literal tears of joy and appreciation for their generosity. I often share with teachers we're trying to recruit to CMS that since I joined this district in 2008, having served as a teacher, literacy facilitator, and assistant principal, that I have saved approximately $38,000 of my own money by utilizing Classroom Central more than what many teachers make their entire first year teaching. This resource does not exist for most districts across the country, and I am proud that in my current position I can lead teachers to this life-altering, money-saving organization that keeps money in teachers' paychecks, which keeps talented teachers in our classrooms. So I've talked a lot about teachers, but you may still have the question, do supplies really make that much of a difference? My answer is yes. Just last week and last night, my former first grader, Celine, called me to celebrate her 14-month milestone of sobriety after five years of heroin addiction. She sent me a picture of the bracelet that she wore while she was in rehab and it was one she had chosen from my treasure box when she was just six years old. Being a good teacher means having all the supplies on hand to support the many needs that you can anticipate and the ones that you never could have. Meanwhile, incentives help create positive behavior, good study habits, excellent character traits, and even more in our classrooms. Students deserve to be recognized and feel special because they are always doing big things. Now I will get even more personal and share with you that during the pandemic, my household became one supported by one income after over 20 years of being supported by two. Due to legal fees and all the things that come with escaping domestic violence, finances were tight and my own two children, students in CMS, benefited from Classroom Central's generosity. drive through pickup services supported their at-home virtual learning and supply needs, and their educational progress remained uninterrupted even when we had no extra for anything. Drastic changes in our lifestyle were made just a little bit easier because of the generous donor community that supports my favorite nonprofit organization, one of those donors being the very law firm that represented me. Classroom Central has not only saved me money, but it has saved me professionally and personally. They've been an organization that uplifts every aspect of the field of education. They exist solely to enhance teaching and learning, and I cannot think of another organization that means more to me. They are keeping teachers in the field by keeping money in their paychecks. Your partnership with Classroom Central is essential for the students and teachers that we serve. As our field continues to face challenges in recruiting and retaining talented teachers in the most noble of all professions, we are seeing a major shift in the workforce. Nearly 60% of the almost 2,000 beginning teachers we support this year entered the profession through an alternative pathway, meaning they did not initially earn their bachelor's degree in education. They did not originally start on a path to becoming a teacher, but chose to follow a calling, a calling that we have an obligation to support in every way possible. Enrollment in teacher preparation programs across the country is declining. Colleges of education nationwide report a 46% decline in enrollment, and many colleges are eliminating education as an option for a course of study. 
not having a pipeline of new teachers entering the, worst for, the workforce is the country's education crisis. Looking back, I am committed to giving back to maintain a quality education for all students. And as I stand before you, I ask you to stand with me. Together, we can elevate teachers' contributions to our society and work to support them by whatever means necessary. Keep turning pencils into possibilities for students and teachers. Your support allows teachers to teach and learners to learn. Thank you. It is now my honor to introduce you to one more speaker this morning. Please welcome middle school science teacher and former Classroom Central teacher in residency, Tatiana Bruton. Thank you, Renee. It's an honor to be asked to represent my fellow teachers. Just a few short years ago, I left my career in finance to become an educator. As you heard here today, being a teacher is not always easy, but the sense of satisfaction when you see the connection in a child's eyes is like no other. On behalf of all educators, I ask that you consider joining us and become a force for all students in our community by helping us turn pencils into possibilities through your generosity. Before I ask our table captains to pass out the pledge cards, I want you to know, the cost of today's event has been completely underwritten by our sponsors. 100% of your contribution today will go directly to fund the mission of Classroom Central. I'd also like to take a moment to recognize the current members of Classroom Central's Society for Excellent Education, or SEED. SEED consists of a dedicated group of supporters who are committed to Classroom Central's mission. These members who are listed on the back of your program have pledged a five-year gift, creating a reliable source of funding that allows Classroom Central to grow and innovate to serve teachers and students. Will all current SEED members please stand and be recognized? As a thank you to each of you for your commitment to teachers and students across our community, we presented you with a custom coffee mug upon your arrival this morning to commemorate your generosity. We hope you enjoy it. Now, table captains, if you could please pass out the pledge cards located in the bag on your table. Starting at the top of the card, you'll see the opportunity to become a member of SEED, our Society for Excellent Education. The pledge levels are meant to give you a sense of what your contribution will do. I am so excited to announce that the Howard R. Levine Foundation is challenging each of us to turn pencils into possibilities by matching the first year of every new or renewed SEED pledge made today. The first giving level, Red Apple, is a pledge of $1,000 each year for five years. Your gift of $1,000 ensures that our students have the supplies for an education that will prepare them to enter the workforce in careers that will move them and their children beyond the free and reduced lunch line. 
The second giving level, Silver Apple, is a pledge of $2,500 a year for five years. Your $2,500 gift helps attract and retain teachers by providing subscription boxes to stock the classrooms of new teachers like Vanessa and me. The next giving level, Crystal Apple, is a pledge of $5,000 a year for five years. Your gift of $5,000 acknowledges that you recognize the enormity of 34 newly eligible schools and more importantly, 38,000 additional students that are counting on Classroom Central. Your gift ensures that they can adequately serve these additional students without diluting the impact on those already being served. The last giving level, Golden Apple, is a pledge of $10,000 a year for five years. If you are inspired by what you've heard here today and the value of calling of teachers like Vanessa, Dion, Renee, and me, we invite you to join us and support our most important resource, our great teachers. Your gift of $10,000 will help launch our new teacher retention program and demonstrates your com commitment to all our community's educators. Again, as a reminder, your entire first year payment will be matched by the Howard R. Levine Foundation, doubling your impact. To achieve our goals and unlock the full potential of the match, we need 19 new members to join SEED today. You can indeed turn pencils into possibilities. Some of you here today have already pledged your support as SEED members, and we cannot thank you enough. We have a special section on the back of the pledge card just for you. And remember that all renewed seed gifts will also qualify for the match. We also respect that you may prefer to give at a different level, so we provide the following line. On this line, please tell us how much you would like to offer and for how many years. We appreciate whatever level of support you can provide, and we ask you make the direct impact and make the first payment on your pledge today. You may wish to donate stock, make a gift through your donor advised fund, or be interested in including Classroom Central in your planned giving. Or in addition to making a personal gift, maybe your work team is looking to volunteer, host a supply drive, or provide exciting incentives like tickets or experiences for our teacher retention program. If so, please check the following option. Please contact me about other ways I would like to contribute. As you are filling out the information at the bottom with your name and address, please make sure to complete the last line of, I want my gift to be recognized as. If you are making this gift on behalf of your company, please write the name of the company as you would like it to be recognized in any print material. If this is a personal gift, please make sure to write how you would like to be recognized. Or if you want this gift to be anonymous, this will be the place to include that as well. As you are completing your card, please know that whatever you give, including the gift of your time, we sincerely appreciate your support of educators and students we serve. When you are finished, please pass your pledge cards and envelopes back to your table captain, who will then place them back in the bag. Table captains, please leave the bags on your table and the classroom team will collect them. I'll now turn the program over to Rory Snavely, Vice President of Distribution for our presenting sponsor, Harris Teeter, to leave us with some final remarks. Good morning. So why is it important for Harris Teeter to support Classroom Central? We at Harris Teeter believe in giving back to our communities we serve by enriching lives. One meal, one family, one associate, and one community at a time. We want to create vibrant neighborhoods where our valued associates, our loyal customers, and our trusted partners work and live. Education is one of Harris Teeter's primary charitable pillars. We support education in many ways with partnerships with organizations like Classroom Central and through our own Together in Education program. 
The Together in Education program was created in 1998. Since then, we have donated over 32 million to support local schools and to educate our next generation of leaders. Classroom Central receives funds from Harris Teeter through our Together in Education program, as well as through our Roundup program. The work Classroom Central does is integral to Harris Teeter's desire to create vibrant neighborhoods. And what's integral to Classroom Central being able to carry out their critical mission? Funding. We know that school supplies and equi equitable access to these supplies is just as important to the learners of our community as having food on their tables at home. The Classroom Central team creates engaging and worthwhile opportunities for our associates to volunteer their time. These events allow our associates the opportunity to see firsthand the direct impact the dollars Terrace Teeter donates. Working with an organization like Classroom Central, which builds impactful programs, to help connect our valued associates directly to the community efforts is a powerful associate engagement tool. We are grateful for the opportunity to support a great cause which further advances our commitment to enriching lives in our communities. Harris Teeter is proud and I am proud to partner with Classroom Central. Thank you all for coming today. Hope you have a great day.